Emma Raducanu will start her Porsche Tennis Grand Prix campaign against Yelena Ostapenko on Tuesday. Emma Raducanu has been handed a major boost ahead of her Stuttgart campaign after receiving a brutal draw. Despite competing in a stacked field containing nine of the world's top ten players, the tournament director believes that the Brit is a contender for the title. The Porsche Tennis Grand Prix boss also claimed that Raducanu could be a future world number one ahead of her tough opener against Yelena Ostapenko. Related articles Raducanu handed brutal Stuttgart draw with Grand Slam champ showdown. Emma Raducanu can try and reverse injury fortune against Ostapenko. Raducanu is one of the wildcard entrants at this week's Porsche Tennis Grand Prix, a tournament wildly popular with the world's top players. The stacked draw often results in first-round matches that you wouldn't be surprised to see make up a Grand Slam semi-final lineup. The world number 68 has been handed a horror draw thanks to the high-caliber field, facing fellow Grand Slam champion Ostapenko with the winner meeting third seed Ons Jabour. Wimbledon winner Elena Rabakina also lurks in Radikana's quarter, but this hasn't stopped the tournament boss from touting the 20-year-old as a title contender. It's wonderful that Coco, Galf, and Emma are coming, Marcus Gunthart said of the young stars. Quote, they are two very promising players and unquestionably an enrichment for our tournament. The tournament director first backed the American to win the title and become a future world number one before making the same predictions about Raducanu. Without a doubt, Coco has the potential to become the world number one at some stage, he explained. She has just turned 18 and has a lot of time ahead of her. The question is whether she will actually manage it as she is up against strong competition. Gunthart thought that Galf wouldn't be bothered by the tough field and admitted that Raducanu was the same, citing her US Open victory. He continued, In my view, she's a top player that is improving all the time, very athletic and a fighter and somebody that has everything it takes to establish herself at the top. She's definitely capable of going all the way to the final here, and winning. The same basically goes for Emma. Quote dot. Gunthard had high hopes for the British number one following her run to the quarterfinal last year, her best showing on the clay. She's after all a Grand Slam winner which is not something many players can say. She's not considered to be a clay court specialist, but if things go her way, she can go for the title despite the tough competition, he stated.